Hello, Mr. Genie. I'd like to trade this sack of potatoes for that bean you said would uh, grow into a, into a bean stalk. Okay, that's it. I need to do another take. Yes, I would like to trade these this sack of potatoes for that magic bean of yours. I'd love to trade these sack of potatoes for this magic bean. For that magic bean. That will bring my family good fortune. Trade these sack of potatoes for a magic bean. C'est la time. I think that's how you say it. It's kitchen time. This and is our first kitchen time in our new kitchen. This is our apartment we've been living in for the last six months. And we'll probably be here for a while. So we're excited to do another kitchen time. It's been a while. And we have something really different and something really special to make today. I'm from Nova Scotia and I'm from a place called Yarmouth. And my favorite thing to eat there, to make there besides like lobster and seafood, is a dish called Rafi Pie. Um, we found it in this cookbook. We're not gonna use this recipe. We're just gonna kind of go in blind and make it how um, my parents make it and from what I know. I've never made it before by myself, but yeah, we did find it in this cookbook and in French it's called... Pâte à la Ripper. Um, yeah, so we have our phone and we'll just call up Paparan or Mon Lori. Oh, um, spe know? speaking of Paparan, this is a Christmas present from uh, Ron Jr. Thanks, thank you so much Ron Jr. I, I really like the Christmas present. Oh. Ronald Jr. Oh, sorry. Ronald Jr. I really, really like it. Like, such a comfy shirt. I'll put the link in the description on if you guys want to buy the same shirt as me, but Ronald Jr. You're just awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's a little shout out to my dad because he watches our videos and he always says he wants us to mention his name. Thanks, Ronald. I said this is like one of my favorite things in the whole world. If I could choose like a favorite meal, this is definitely on the list. Um, I've had it all through growing up and my parents like don't often make it because I think it's because of the mess it makes like you have to juice a bunch of potatoes and it makes quite a mess and it's very time consuming but for me like it's so worth it so like they never really make it like maybe once or twice a year if but I thought why haven't I made it yet? So we we're borrowing my mom's juicer and we're making it and I'm so excited and let's see how it turns out because I've never made it before. I've only helped them so we're gonna, it's good. We're gonna juice this sack of potatoes. Yeah. I didn't trade the sack of potatoes for a minute. It's like a I pretty Canadian dish because you know like the stereotypical thing like potato, salt, pepper. Salt, pepper. You never heard that? That like... Caucasian food is like plain. So I heard that. I heard that, but I never heard salt and pepper potatoes. Yeah, it's like a stereotypical thing, like that the only spices like Caucasian use or something is like salt, pepper, I heard like, that. potatoes. Yeah, like basic. So it's funny because like I love this dish so much, and what does it call for? Well, it calls for like a big bag of plain potatoes and with butter. You put a shit ton of butter and shit ton of salt and pepper and cheese no oh, I was thinking about shepherd's pie there first step, peel all these potatoes I don't know if this is enough potatoes I think we need another bag really? so I have to go to the store? maybe I might get a snack there for her Here we go, starting to peel 15 pounds of potatoes. Growing up, my dad always used like three bags of potatoes, like three times the amount. And I was always the wow. one that had to peel them. And it was so tedious. So like 45 pounds of potatoes, that's, that's insane. The next step for us is to make the broth um, and cook our chicken. So we got our chicken right here and it's flying, <laughs> flying right into that pot. And then we put our celery in for our stock. Give it some nice flavor. Put 
some onions we cut. It's really gonna bring out that flavor in the chicken and make it very delicious. Here, most people will use water, but we're gonna concentrate our stock using some more chicken stock. So there we go. Double the stock, making yeah. your own stock with stock. Now we're adding some bay leaves and I added quite a bit. Um, I'm following no recipe, I just kind of went for it. Swinging it, like that chicken. <laughs> and now some salt and pepper. Quite a bit of salt and pepper we put. Did we? Oh yeah, we ended up adding more chicken broth, okay. Yeah, so in total we did four? Three, three chicken broths. Was it three or four? Three. Three, oh okay. We are now cutting our onions. These are sweet yellow onions. Uh, we are cutting quite a bit. I think we cut like five or something, um, but we ended up only using three for this recipe. I'd say a little bit less than three, but we cut a ton of onions and we didn't end up using it in this recipe, but we found use for them in other places. We're cutting the potatoes into smaller slices now, just so we can fit them into the juicer. And yes, this is as fast as we cut potatoes. We have a juicer here. Um, we put them in the top and then close this and see what happens. because you're gonna replace it with the same amount of liquid with the broth. So we're gonna collect the liquid to keep track of how much we have. And then just keep continu continuing this process. Do some bicep curls. everything we've prepared. We have a bunch of onions. This is probably like five large sweet onions. Maybe a little too much. Uh, yeah, probably a little too much. Uh, we'll see how much we use. This is our 15 pound bag of potatoes that we juiced we twice. This is our stock that we cooked our chicken in. And then this is our chicken. Um, we separated it already. This is like the bones and stuff we won't be using. And this is all the shredded chicken that we will be using. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this, which is full of starch. We're get, we got the accurate measurements, somewhat, of our starch. So this one, they're both about the same. Like, they're both about the same up here. So yeah, you put so. the same amount of stock 
back into the potatoes as you took out of the potatoes. So we're gonna empty the starch out. Which is gonna the... give it an amazing flavor of chicken broth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna pour this out. We know what we did. That's nasty. <laughs> Rinse it. Yeah, I'm sick. We don't want that shit in there. We're gonna add all of our mm -hmm. juiced potatoes into our pan. Next, we're gonna add our liquid back in. Stop. Just probably used about for this amount. We probably used like a third of the like onions that we cut. Three onions, probably. Um, now we're gonna add our chicken. until it's cooked and there's a golden brown hard crust on the top. Um, from growing up I remember like that being like six hours. We'll find out and let you guys know how long it takes. Before we put it in the oven we're just gonna put a few pieces of butter in on the top of it which will give it flavor and that like crispy top. We're adding some salt and pepper, then gonna pop it in the oven until the fork comes out clean. The Rappi pie is finished. It's been cooking for, how long would you say, babe? Four hours. I'd say like three hours. It's been, it's yeah, like three deep, hours. Right? So if you put a knife in it, it's like thick. It looks thick inside. And that's how you know it's done, if it comes out thick. We're gonna give it a taste. So you just add a little bit of butter on top and some salt and pepper and it's ready. And yes, it looks like potato mush. It doesn't look very appetizing, but I swear it's so yummy. Sneeze, sneeze. Okay, here we go. Take our first bites of this meal that we made. I'm so excited. Okay, ready? Three, two, cheers. Lots of flavor in it. Uh -huh. Like from the chicken stock. I give it a. Hmm. Out of your top three. Uh, out of your top five. This is in your top five. The times that you ate this. I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. Like for not having a recipe to follow. Like my, my mom didn't know what temperature to put the oven, how long to cook it for, how many potatoes. How much chicken, how much onions, for just like winging everything and the first time making it. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed. This is definitely my top five. Because you've only had it like four times. <laughs> <laughs> I give this like a 10 out of 10. Really? This is a 10 out of 10. Because we made it and 
I think it's not too runny. And the consistency is good. The chicken tastes great. Mm -hmm. and the onion gives it lots of flavor. There's lots of flavor in it. Not the healthiest meal. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I want to bring like my sister some to try, my mom some to try, my dad some to try. Just so to I show, can show them. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab some more. All right, well, that's our video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, subscribe and comment. comment. Make sure you comment, ask us questions. We'd love to do a question video. So. If you have any questions on how to make this or anything you like, go for it. We will answer. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>